This video is going to be a quick review of segment and angle relationships. Now, segment and angle relationships basically talks about taking information that you are given, combining it with information that you know, and using that to solve problems. Let's get to it. Two pieces of advice I would give in general is to use pictures. If you're given pictures, great. If not, draw them and label those pictures. It helps you keep information organized and makes things a lot simpler. One concept we use fairly often is that small pieces add to equal the big piece. Looking at this segment here, we can see that the small piece, AB, plus the other small piece, BC, is going to equal the large piece, AC. The small pieces add to equal the big piece. Same thing with this angle here. We can see that the angle ABZ added to the angle ZBC, the two small angles are going to add to equal this whole big angle, ABC. Here's how we might set up a problem using information we know. Say we knew that AB equaled X. Well, I can label that AB, the length of AB is equal to X. If I knew that BC was equal to 5, that would be the length of BC is equal to 5. And we're given that AC, the big length, was equal to 12. That's AC, this whole big length is equal to 12. Well, remember, the small pieces add to the big pieces. That would mean that x plus 5 would be equal to the big piece 12. From here, we could solve for x. Same idea with angles. If we knew that measure of angle ABZ was 30, that's the measure of ABZ, 30. We also knew that measure of ZBC was equal to y. That's ZBC right here y, and the big angle ABC, this whole big angle, was equal to 50. We can just set up like we did before. The small pieces add to the big piece. That would give us 30 plus y equal to the big piece 50. From, from there we can solve for our variable. Next up is congruence, and congruence basically means that two things have equal measure, and we use this little equal sign squiggly on top symbol to represent congruence. Here we have our segment again. We know that AB is equal to X. We also know that AC, our big piece, AC is equal to 8. And they tell us that AB is congruent to BC. That means that this length, AB, is the same measure as BC. If that is the case, since AB is congruent to BC, I know that BC has to be X as well, because these are the same measure. Now if we wanted to set up an equation, we could say that x plus x equals the big piece 8. We could solve from there. Here we've got an angle, measure of angle ABZ equals x plus 2. We've got ABZ equals x plus 2. ZBC equals 38. We've got that right here. And we're told that angle ABC is congruent to angle ZBC. That means that ABZ and ZBC, these two angles, have the same measure. If we know that those have the same measure, we can set them equal to one another. x plus 2 equals 38, since we know that they're congruent. From there, we can solve for x. There are some special angle relationships you're going to want to know. First is a linear pair. These are just two angles that form a straight line. You can see that straight line right here. Or if you drew the big angle, it would be half of a circle. These angles always add to equal 180. As you can see, if we add measure of angle 1, plus the measure of angle 2, it will equal 180. So whenever you see a straight line, you should be thinking angles add to 180. Next is vertical angles. These are angles directly across from each other based on intersecting lines. Vertical angles are congruent. That would be measure of angle 1 is equal to the measure of angle 2. We could also have another pair of vertical angles, 3 and 4, because these are directly across from one another too, on intersecting lines. Vertical angles are always congruent. Before we wrap things up, here are some things to know. When talking about congruence, if you want to indicate two segments are the same length or congruent, you can use one hash mark on each segment. The number of hash marks corresponds to other congruent segments. If you're talking about congruent angles, you can use little arcs. One arc here, one arc here would mean they were congruent. If there were two here and two here, they would also be congruent. 
The term bisect means that something cuts something in half for two equal pieces. If this ray here was a bisector, it means that these two angles would be congruent because it's a cutting the big angle exactly in half. If you see the word complementary, you know that two angles add up to 90 degrees. If you see the term supplementary, it means that they add up to 180 degrees. If you ever happen to see a red box at the corner of an angle, it means you have a right angle, which basically means you've got a 90 degree measure. All right, everyone, happy solving.